Hey, Virgo. Okay, guys, getting ready to do your reading. I hope you guys are doing really well today. Uh, this will be a general collective reading for the sign of Virgo. Oh, planning in action. Nice. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. As always, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit if it does not. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what spirit has for you today. I'm going to get some initial messages. Milestone. Planning in action. Milestone is the event that's coming up. So there could be some kind of wedding here. Somebody could be getting married as well. This could be for somebody. Somebody may be getting married, obviously. This could also be about a graduation. Some kind of big event. Or big event that could be coming up. This is planning in action, though. True love. What? I haven't seen that car in a hot minute. Okay. So maybe that is the milestone. Is somebody here getting married? Is somebody found someone here that they want to marry? Um, maybe somebody's going to propose here. It does say planning in action. Oh, here. Discovery. Oh, wow. Somebody's intention here. Yeah, so somebody, okay, definitely very clear cut here. Somebody has discovered something about another person. Maybe they've discovered someone here is their true love. Uh, they can maybe feel like this person, um, that they mirror this person. You know, this is how close they are in energy here because that is an energy card here. Somebody could definitely be planning to come back to somebody who they have decided is their true love in life, okay? They could be wanting to propose. They could be asking you to go somewhere. This could be about a marriage as well, okay? Somebody is definitely definitely feels like they have possibly found I think they feel like they have found the one, okay? Maybe not possibly. <laughs> I think they feel as though they have actually found the one uh, in another person here. This is great. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Spirit. What do we have for Virgos here, please? Okay, one more. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The free self, finding inner peace, embracing independence. Somebody may not see this coming. They could be looking at somebody as a very free, freedom-loving individual. Uh, oh, wow, yeah. This could be somebody who's went through. Oh, wow. Has somebody been through some kind of karma here? Some kind of uncomfortable karma, it looks like. Look at this. Wow, in our wildest dreams, rebellious love going against the grain. So... I don't know if we have one story here or working or two, because honestly, these up here are so clear cut. Either you've been through someone who's been through a bit of some kind of karma, something like that. Could be somebody who you had some kind of bad blood with. Okay. Obviously you're out here looking very free. Okay. Maybe you found some kind of inner peace here. It says that you're embracing your independence though, but this could have been a love that you had before. See, I don't think, the reason, of course, naturally, I'm looking at the uncomfortable karma. Maybe, did you go through karma, karmic lessons with the person that you're actually coming back together with at this time? It could have created um, definitely space between two people is what I'm feeling here because there was some bad blood. So there may have been some arguments, some disagreements, some lack of understanding here. There could have been some ghost in either is what I feel. Okay, I think I just have two stubborn people, to be honest with you, that didn't want to, hmm, I don't know, I don't know if you guys just didn't want to make it right, or maybe you weren't going to give in, they weren't going to give in, something along those lines there. Definitely a rebellious love, maybe the both of you like to go against the grain here. Huh, this says insatiable cravings, but it's actually in reverse here, it's kind of the way I would like to see it. I don't know if this person and you were were settled down. So this person, so somebody here could have definitely been playing the field, okay? Uh, whoever it was, whatever behaviors they were exhibiting, it looks like they got smacked down with some karma here. They had to really sit back and face some of the things that they may have done. So if they did ghost or 
Um, if you, if I don't know how they handled this situation because I don't have cards here to speak to that as of yet. They could have also been kind of in this player energy. This says to me in reverse here that they're out of that energy though, that they're not chasing other people here. Oh, maybe this person is even being celibate at this time. Now, if you guys had a passionate relationship as well, this could be telling me that you're remaining celibate at this time and as are they. The enigma. Yeah. Leaving it to the imagination. Building a mystery. I think this is the discovery here. You know what I really feel is two people actually came together, broke apart, and it looks to me like somebody has put a lot of space here, may have even blocked a person out, tried to keep them out of their life in some way. And this person has been all in their head, and maybe you have as well. They may even find you, Virgo, very mysterious, okay? You're like an enigma. And I think the enigma has to do, too, because we do have true love up here and a discovery, right? Maybe the, the enigma is, you know, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way about Virgo? Why can't I forget Virgo? That sort of thing here. Somebody is planning to try and make some kind of move towards you. They're planning something. And for some reason, I feel like it might be big. Softening your heart. Wow. <laughs> Maybe they're planning to stop in their heart to exp to expose their bare soul here, okay? It says somebody who wants to show vulnerability. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so close yet so far. This definitely tells me that there's some kind of distance between the two of you. I do think that that has been, it's actually helped them. All right, and maybe it's helped you as well. But if this is a situation that you want, that's trying to make a, it looks like it's trying to, to come back around most definitely. I think it's been a very complex separation for, for somebody. Maybe I feel like it's been for both of you guys, all right? Maybe you both tried to let go here, but you seem to be holding on. They've definitely held on to you. That's very clear here. But this person's also, if you've had some space, it's because they've also had to go through some kind of karma here. And, you know, because this could have been whatever happened in this situation, this could kind of be the way this person has operated here in the past. You know, probably, I'm sure, for, from their old wounds or patterns or whatever. So it wasn't just about the karma from whatever happened in your situation. It could have definitely been from other situations as well. It could, again, if they were attracting people more on a lust basis or, you know, sexually based uh, situations, then, of course, they went through some kind of karma for that. The bottom line is I think this person has been watching you. Okay, this over here in the, the Enigma card, they're kind of in the shadows here, just kind of watching you. Maybe if they have pictures or something, they're looking at those, but thinking about it a lot. So maybe all in their imagination, imagining what could be. They might be very uh, physically drawn to you as well. Somebody is about to spare their bare soul. And I think that's what this milestone is about. Maybe somebody will come in and kind of invite you out or suggest that you guys go out somewhere. They're, they're doing a lot of planning here, okay, to take action. The way this is laying, this could actually be across the body of water to get to a person. They could definitely be not in the same state or not in the same country, something like that. This looks like it could literally be far away. It doesn't have to be. All right. So let me get, all right, spirit, for my Virgo, oh, wow, <laughs> I barely did anything, okay, Knight of Wands, first card out, wow, look at this, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, that's about reality kicking in, that's about someone thinking about the poor choices they've made here, okay, um, and finally come into some state of clarity, which of course is this card right up here, right? Where they've made some kind of discovery. It could have been about this Knight of Wands energy. If they were a person that was really kind of chasing passion or something like that, maybe if they came in and out and they gave you that idea because that was how they were behave or was behaving or in that energy. I think it's about that. But I think this is the person kind of still in the synergy. I don't want to make it all bad here, okay? This person could definitely be a bit hasty, a lot of quick decisions here in this card, okay? But they're also very ambitious and generous, all right? Um, very active as well. So I don't know. This person could also be a little bit younger. I don't know. I'd have to get some more cards here to see that, actually. But coming in as the knight, that's not really where I like to see people because... I mean, knights are great, but I'd rather see them at least in kings because kings are, of course, more stable. But let's see how it goes. 
I do think this person does not mind a challenge, honestly. They could very well love a challenge, in fact, in that energy. Yeah. Yeah, this person wants to have some kind of new solid beginning here because they have some kind of clarity now. Okay, they know that they made some poor choices here in the past, and it looks to me like some kind of reality has set in for them. Oh, wow. Yeah, talk about it. Look at that. Reality, yeah, has really set in for them. And again, I'm looking at, look at this. Then we have the Hierophant, wow. And then we have in, in reverse here, the Judgment card in reverse, which we already saw the karma. So we know that they've been in some kind of uncomfortable ju uh, judgment here, right? Somebody here is now wanting to take this opportunity, it looks like, to really invest, have some kind of new solid beginning here. This person could be studying some stuff. They could be a student in some way. Maybe that's some other way that they've spent their time. Maybe if there was areas in their life that they needed to get better at or, um, or pursue, like if they were in a bad career or something along those lines, it looks like they have worked on that. Maybe getting their self to a more stabilized place as well. They could have went through quite a bit of upheaval, but this could also just simply be them having this massive discovery after this karma. This could also be the karma, quite honestly, hitting them, okay, where they could have had to lose a lot to really kind of come to terms with what was important in their life. I do think this person can be very traditional, regardless of how they were behaving here in the past. You know, maybe they come from a very traditional background here um, in terms of their belief systems and yeah, it could also be um, definitely their belief systems. I get that very strongly. So their belief systems, maybe even their religion, something like that. It could have also been with these two cards right here that I'm seeing that this person, this was the discovery, and this is like that tower moment, right? Realizing that everything that they had built up about you, about this situation was pretty much false, right? Recognizing that you are actually their true love here and wanting to have some kind of higher commitment with you, something much more conventional, right? Much more traditional here. Yeah, honestly, they could have allowed other people or any kind of gossip uh, to get in the way before. It could have also been self-doubt. This person could have been very, I feel like they could have been a lot about their image too for some reason. I don't know why I'm getting that with this one, but I'm, I'm feeling like they could have been about their image or about what people thought. Maybe they didn't want to settle down for that reason. If they had this image of being a playboy or something like that, maybe that's something that they liked. By the way, I say playboy. This is a male here, but obviously they're, you know, male, female. It's an energy really that I'm reading here. Yeah, I just think this person had a lack of self-awareness, to be quite honest with you. And it's something that they're they're just now seeing. Like, I don't even know how long this has been. I got the number three for some reason. I don't know if that's relevant for your situation, but uh, maybe three months or three years within the, those time frames, or maybe longer. Maybe three has something to do with that. Oh, wow. Look at this. Nine. Yeah, somebody has figured out that you are, you're the wish fulfillment here. Okay. You would be a wish, uh, a wish come true for them. They could find a lot of happiness here with you. Maybe they did before too. A lot of fulfillment. Definitely a lot of success in this situation. They know they have to be vulnerable. I don't know if this is also asking you to soften your heart, okay? But somebody here, I feel like they will be showing some kind of vulnerability here because I think the whole push and pull, trying to let go, not being able to, going back and forth has been almost antagonistic to this person, maybe to you as well if you've went through that. Why can't I let this person go? This whole thing, you know, it's, a, it's an enigma, right? Why can't I let this go? Why am I always thinking about this person? Why am I fantasizing about this person? I'm not even sleeping with other people here. I don't have passion for other people here. They know that you're, and this could have been in this situation as well. This is a rebellious uh, situation or rebellious love, right? Two people going against the grain, which is fine. But did that also impact, were you both rowdy? Like, do you both have, you know, do you argue that sort of stuff? Like that same level of passion can kind of go both ways sometimes, right? Hmm. Okay, so Spirit, what is this person? How do they feel about Virgo? How do they truly feel about Virgo, please? Wow. <laughs> well, they definitely feel love. Okay, they want to come in. You got another night here. Maybe this person's a little younger. I don't know. 
They definitely want to come in and make some kind of romantic gesture here. Wow. Yeah, this person's really trying to come back. Look at this. Three of Wands in reverse. This person's trying to return to you, okay? They want to have some kind of love offer here. This is also a card about taking action, okay? Somebody who's actually following their heart here. Mm, this is also a card about planning, too. So now we have two cards here about planning and action here. Somebody wants to return to this situation because they want to make some kind of love offer here, Virgo. I feel about Virgo. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. They're definitely trying to take control of this situation. They could be they could have been trying to manifest this in, to be honest with you. The magician is also a smooth talker, right? They could come in trying to work their magic right through their gift of gab. <laughs> right? Really trying to bring something into fruition here. Yeah, because they don't want to be out in the cold anymore. So they made that and I think they're feeling real lonely out there, to be honest with you. Like I said, they've been through some really massively uncomfortable karma. But I think it was worth it because it really did help them see the light in a situation that otherwise they would have just kind of, you know, they, they would have just continued on their way here. Yeah, it had to get nasty for this person. It had to get nasty for them. Course correction, right? Yeah, so you can be dealing actually with a queen, with a king of pentacles here. That's better. Okay, so this is definitely, remember I said somebody could have been working on their finances or something, maybe even studying here. All right, studying something, studying even like a new uh, position or a new vocation in some way. Going back to school, something to really better themselves. And I do feel that this person may have actually gotten themselves into a more secure situation. That could have also been an issue in the past, to be honest with you. Maybe they didn't feel like they had enough. Maybe they didn't. This is certainly a man of security here, though. Okay. Um, they could be wealthy, but they're definitely some kind of businessman here, okay? They're usually successful, very grounded individual as well. Resilience, yeah. So they're coming back in here like the wounded warrior. Very resilient, though. Um, maybe a little fatigued. <laughs> I don't think so, though. Not with these two knights here that we have, especially not the first one. I mean, that's a very passionate individual. It just shows me this person has a high degree of persistence here. Look at this. They may be concerned here about some kind of uh, conflict that could arise. You know, we saw that kind of before with this in our wildest dreams, rebellious love here. They could be afraid that you're going to kind of turn them away or that there's going to be competition or something here for uh, your love. Or there's just going to be some kind of conflict, even, you know, disagreements, arguments over that. There's going to have to be some kind of struggle because they really, I think, want you to see um, their feelings here. They want to be able to drop their guard somewhat and be vulnerable with you. Look at this. This is clarity. All right. Again. All right. Somebody has gotten clarity. We've already seen that this person wants to bring in some kind of mental clarity here. All right. They're thinking clearly as well. All right. And they want to communicate some kind of truth here, some kind of vision about the two of you guys. I feel like in them moving forward here, I don't know if they have had to move away from some poor decisions, some bad behavior from the past. Obviously, I can see they clearly went through some karma. Uh, you know, I saw up here with insatiable lust here. I mean, they could have definitely um, had some other habits that had to be broken first. They had to see how that was impacting their life negatively. And I do believe that that's happened in this specific situation. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's get some... Let's just see what this person may wish to say here. All right, Spirit, what might this person wish to say to my Virgo Collective, please? Yeah, this person might be offering something really big, Virgo, now that they've gotten themselves stabilized here because they have big plans here. And maybe they feel like they have to go on in with all in with you. Maybe you've told them that. If there's something coming up where there's a chance of you to run into this person, I do think they're making some kind of plans. Maybe they're making plans just to run into you. All right, but they may ask you to go somewhere with them as well. I'm so attracted to you. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, there's been a lot of fantasizing that's been going on and just kind of picturing. I don't I, I don't know if you guys had a lot of sexual chemistry or something. I do feel a lot of chemistry like around this situation. I know it was a distraction from your pain. Okay, so maybe you walked away from this person as well. 
Maybe they've seen that as well. If you posted things after you guys maybe split or stopped talking or something like that, and they could see that, you know, that you were processing other things as well. Yeah, but look, they know they didn't treat you right. Wow. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah. The good news is they've been through some kind of karma. And uh, I think it's really highlighted not only talk about distractions, I feel like this person was distracting themselves with other things, okay, and trying to come across in an energy that really they they just were kind of refusing, I'm sorry, refusing to grow up a little bit. And it looks like that has actually happened maybe by default of all of these other things here. I do believe they've gotten themselves free from something, even if it's just habits. It could also be people, it could be family, but also if it were just habits, they definitely feel like you're their true love. You're the mirror to their soul here. That's what I feel. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Uh, I regret lying to you, Jesus. Okay, so they got a lot of stuff going on. They didn't treat you right. I have regrets about that. This card is also about regrets and a guilty conscience here. They know they, they hurt the person who maybe was very loyal to them. You know, just willing to stick it out with them. It does say I lost myself for a little while. That's for sure. You know, that's also maybe do maybe out here acting or going through whatever they were doing, their behaviors. And then, of course, the karma, I think, also took them down a little while. I do think this person's been through a tough time. Okay, it says you speak to me through music, okay, and we will be together again. And look on the bottom, it says I'm becoming a better person, yeah. They already know what's up. I mean, this person's had a lot of epiphanies here is what I feel. They've definitely made a discovery. They consider you their true love, like I said, and I think there's some kind of planning uh, to take some kind of action here, okay, to bring things into fruition here now with that. They obviously think that you guys will be together again. That's what they're hoping anyway. All right, let me get some last words here. So here. Do we have some advice here from our lovely Virgos this evening? Flames of desire, I told you. I said y'all must have had a lot of chemistry because I could feel it. Let them shine out in radiant light and shun dark past. Look at that. This is beautiful. So a lot of desire here for you. And maybe you obviously, I feel like it is, honestly, I feel like it is something that is mutual here. Maybe the flames of desire is also smoking out their darkness. Maybe that was part of this here. Maybe that's why they were like, I got to stop. I got to drop all these other things that I'm doing or even my desires in those areas because Virgo is not going to deal with that. It says the message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. It says the spirit world wishes to find you. Or find and touch you. It says so somebody may be trying to speak to you, maybe through your dreams or through the spirit world in some way. Look for signs of that. It says live playfully and with a light heart. Listen to the voice of your inner child here. So have fun with this situation here. On the bottom it says you're not alone. Feel the power of your blood and your ancestors. You are not alone. So you definitely have. So spirit is trying to help you with this situation, I feel. Regardless of what you decide to do with it, okay, it's definitely something that had to be learned and it looks like it's making its way back around again uh, for another shot. It looks like with people who have actually went through some lessons on their own, right, which is pretty powerful. It says, uh, but you have spirit here trying to reach you and then it says you're not alone, talking about the power of your blood and your ancestors here, so... This is actually quite beautiful, Virgo. I'm really happy for you guys that want this situation. Um, and I'm happy to see growth, honestly. Always good to see growth. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for y'all. Uh, hit the like button if it, this is for you. Or if you like my readings. And I will see you guys the next time. Good night.